one time, Gordon and Henry slept in James's shed, and they would talk of nothing but boot lace. James would talk about engines who got shut up in tunnels and stuck on hills, but they wouldn't listen, and went on talking and laughing. You talk too much, little James, Gordon would say. A fine, strong engine like me has something to talk about. I'm the only engine who can pull the express. When I'm not there, they need two engines. Think of that. I've pulled expresses for years and have never once lost my way. I seem to know the right line by instinct. Every wise engine knows, of course, that the signalman works the point to make engines run on the right lines. But Gordon was so proud that he had forgotten. Wake up, James. It's nearly time for the express. What are you doing? Odd jobs. Ah, well, we all have to begin somewhere, don't we? Run along now and get my coaches. Don't be late now. James went to get Gordon's coach. They were now all shining with lovely music. He was careful not to bump, and they followed him smoothly into the station, singing. We're going away. We're going away. I wish I was going with you, said James. I should love to pull the express and go flying along the line. He left them in the station and went back to the yard. Just as Gordon, with much noise and blowing of steam, backed on to the train. The fat controller was on the train with other important people, and as soon as they heard the guard whistle, Gordon started. Look at me now, look at me now, he puffed, and the coaches glided under his feet at the station. disappear around the curve and then went back to work. He pushed some trucks into their proper siding and went to fetch the coaches for another train. He brought the coaches to the platform and was just being uncoupled when he heard a mournful quiet. And there was Gordon trying to sidle into the station without being noticed. Hello, Gordon. Is it tomorrow? asked James. Gordon didn't answer. He just let off steam. Did you lose your way, Gordon? No, it was lost for me. I was switched off the main line onto the loop. I had to go all round and back again. Perhaps it was instinct, said James brightly. Meanwhile, all the passengers hurried to the booking office. We want our money back, they shouted. The fat controller climbed on the trolley and blew the guard's whistle so loudly that they all stopped to look at him. Then he promised them a new train at once. Gordon can't do it, he said. Will you pull it for us, James? Yes, sir. I'll try. So James was coupled on, and everyone got in again. Do your best, James, said the fat controller kindly. Come along, come along, puffed James. You're pulling as well, you're pulling as well, sang the coaches. out of the windows and cheered, and they soon reached the turn. Everyone said thank you to James. Well done, said the fat controller. Would you like to pull the express sometime? Yes, please, answered James happily. Next day, when James came by, Gordon was pushing trucks in the yard. I like some quiet work for a change, he said. I'm teaching these trucks manners. You did well with those coaches, I hear. Good. We'll show them. And he gave his trucks a bump. James and Gordon are now good friends. James sometimes takes the express to give Gordon a rest. Gordon never talks about bootlaces. And they are both quite agreed on the subject of trucks.